But right now, I'm tired for play this disappearing trick. So I'm going to just go and just roll out the red carpet. That means uh, anything they want to do, they can just come and do then. What do you mean, roll out the red carpet? Just because I know they're going to come, so I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm expecting them. So you're going to be in Montego Bay? In Montego Bay tomorrow. So I'm just Where in Montego Bay is the um, Caribbean. I think it's um, Caribbean. Caribbean, what the, it's a beach. I don't even remember the name uh -huh. of the beach. And yeah, that I mean, you are putting on that one? No, it's my manager because I have a business partner which is Corita, and I have a manager from Chilani. Mm -hmm. He's the one that was been in negotiation with, with, with Mr. Leng. So I get the feeling now you are frustrated. But so frustrated and right now, to tell you the honest truth, Mr. Yos, if right now my, my concern over about my life and about my freedom, because probably by now or next week you can hear anything I'm to Vice Cartel, whether me just suddenly become a person of interest again or something happened to Vibes Cartel because me don't really like the direction which is where this is heading because the, the, um, the workers at the building saying um, some police making some remark like anyway cartel them are going to mash it up and you know what I mean and this thing is hurting my livelihood mm -hmm. you know what I mean and nothing like this was happening for, over the, from the, the year start so I don't know how it start happening now after this thing with, 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 with the promotion of Sting and I decided not to do the show. But you fear for your life? Yeah, because it's a user. I remember, you know, this is Jamaica, you know. So regardless of what, certain people in certain sections of society we don't live the real Jamaican life. I might look upon things naively. Me come from the garrison, the ghetto. I mean, know how things run in Jamaica. Because if a man can have the powers to manipulate certain people for come read club and do what them feel like and when me say this me still I say I, me, me can't put my head on the block certain say the commissioner and certain high ranking police don't know about these things you know what I mean because there's no way we can live in our country we run run like this so right now me no care me so just you're, uh, uh, listening to you your suspicions are mm -hmm. that Leng being a former policeman mm -hmm. is somehow pulling able strings where all over the place. I mean, I will long my mouth and talk. Because Jamaica this, and everybody know where I go on in the streets. Because it's something we attack in the streets too. It's not nothing we are hiding, you know what I mean? So, they, and the people, they must say, oh, him length for low cartel and whatever, whatever. Because people know what is happening. Even on the night when they read boxing night, people was, was talking about length, this, length, that. Shouting in, in, in unison. Gaza, Gaza, length, this, length, you know what I mean? Disrespecting the man saying, length, I do it, length, I do it. Because, as I said before, this is Jamaica. Me know enough police, me might not know a big high ranking police, but me is an entertainer. So me I know enough police and people been talking, as I said before, he may even tell my manager say me can't fight the state. Me never know the state I keep sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean me not have no intention of fighting the state. The state keep grand gala. Alright, I and mean, he's not a gala artist. <laughs> he's a Gaza artist. So it really it So you're me. appealing to the commissioner? Yeah. To do what? To find out what really I go on and why Vice Cartel come under so much pressure since me decides I'm not doing thing. Why everywhere Vice Cartel is being raided and the people that come out to see me is being disrespected. Mm. You know what I mean? If you have something against Vice Cartel, send for Vice Cartel then. Because he's a public figure, me can't hide. You know as what they mean? have done in the past. As they have done in the past. And me go through the same process and me come out a free man the same way. You know what I mean? As even is the case of the recent state emergency where Cartel was detained as a person of interest. I am the only person that was detained that never get a charge even after the state of emergency done. Just, I actually came out before it even finished. You know what I mean? So, and as I said before, me don't think the commissioner or any top ranking police who is investigating anything of substance of anything against Vibes Cartel is just a man that try using powers and pull a few strings here and there. And you believe that is deliberately being done by Lane? I believe that to my heart if I even if it cost me my life, because one time I can't dead, I can't dead two times. You keep on saying about yeah, your man, life. Because, yeah, because I'm, I'm a man concerned about my, my life and about my freedom. I don't like the direction of this thing is heading. People are saying anything with vibes got them involved in it, I'm going to mash up. Like me, you know, to feed my kids them too. That's why I mean, take it to the, 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 the public, you know. Because I was on Ragashanti show a few days ago, and now I come to Cliff Hughes because, as, as the name suggests, more and the nation for here are gone. Mm -hmm. Yes, straight we up. will be putting it to the members of the police high command, and you can assure us that you have the necessary permits and authority. Yeah, man, to put on these. I have the permits, man. Even the show in Mobile, because it's my manager keeping the show, 
and he spent a lot of money because Jackie was on the show. Barrent, a world artist, Barrent and Lee, is just like a big annual event that is being kept there. Yes. You know what I mean? And Vibes Cartel is on the show, and we've been hearing that they're going to come down there and what they're going to do and whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, as I said before, I ain't going nowhere. I'll be there. So, anything you would, you would hear further on. How are you personally, though? The last time I interviewed you for Impact was a, a year ago, just over a year yeah, ago. Yeah. And uh, how are you? They I know Mr. Hughes just looking cooler, you know. <laughs> You're not looking cooler. You look like a broad man. I tell you. <laughs> so how did that happen? Well, you don't know. We just change up the image because, you know, Vice Cartel always reinvented himself. We come under a lot of flack for recent image changes, people say we're bleaching and whatnot. But, you know, everything Vice Cartel do where my image is concerned and my music, we do it deliberately. So, you know what I mean? It's just the style and... It make with tattoo them look bright and the girls them love it, so you know what I mean? But vibes mm -hmm. a young, intelligent, <laughs> conscious, African origin true, true. original man. True. Why would you want to make you look browner? I when I looking at you I I was shocked. This was not the the, the, no, the man no. I saw here. No, we share the same skin tone the last yeah. interview. <laughs> And I'm looking better. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger <laughs> toe and fatter. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really, it's not nothing to do with um, this owning with blackness or this owning with, 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 with Africanism. You know what I mean? As I said before, it's those vibes that is an entertainer. So just as how I put on braces, I didn't put on braces for any medical reason. I put on braces because of style. Because we just want, we change the style. That is how vibes cartel do. We put it's all on part the, of the show base. Yeah, we just put on some tattoo and we want the tattoo to highlight. So we just lighten the skin as a tattoo show. And it's just a style for vibes cartel. The tattoos are style are a part of your, your what I say, your cult. No, it's not a cult, you know, because if you notice, this, all the tattoos have a meaning. This one on the palm is shorty. Uh -huh. This is Jaim, which is my son. One up here is Raim, my another son. Then over here we have my mother's name on the right arm. Shaim, which is my next son. Mm -hmm. I have a tattoo on the heart mark, love is pain. And we have the elements on my neck like the sun, the moon and the star. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're sure it's not part of the cult that no, they say you're, no cult, you're, man. You're, you're a cultist? No, I'm not a cultist, man. You know what I mean? And I'm not a religious person, but I'm a spiritual person. Yes. You know what I mean? Because I said in past interviews, my, my world travel show me that religion, if, if it is anything, it would be more of a division thing. I know you're a man who reads. And a lot. You saw the front page of the Gleaner yesterday. Yeah. Rub it out. You rub it out, the Ministry of Health. Yes. <laughs> Saying that what, what you're doing is mm. dangerous. Yes, that's what they said. And I, uh, my quote was that I'm not saying, I'm not denying or confirming what they said. You know what I mean? Because at, at the end of the day, that is the Ministry of Health, and I know they have done their survey, but I have not done mine. But what I can say is, in a free society, people can do whatever they want to do, as long as it is within the confines of the law, as long yeah. as it's not illegal. And that is just but, my... But you, you're no ordinary citizen. True. When you now say, this is all due to cake soap, yeah. and you're going to bring onto the market mm -hmm. a brand of cake soap, yeah. what you're doing, you know fully well, mm -hmm. the thousands of people who listen to you yeah. and want to be like you, True. they're going to buy that cake soap, and mm -hmm. if they can't get brown as how you are, <laughs> that, they are going to go for the bleaching which is dangerous, and that is what the Ministry of Health is saying. Yeah, I fully understand, but then again, you know, my, my, my question to the Ministry is, or my suggestion to the Ministry is, when you're going to do things like that, you have to just go right across the board, meaning that it is a known fact that, that cigarette is the leading cause of lung cancer, so you should just ban cigarette also, you know what I mean, straight up. But you don't want them to ban for the same principle that you, you espoused earlier. Mm -hmm. You should have an individual choice to choose. They can't go and ban cigarettes. They will, what they have to do is to warn that smoking is dangerous to your health, Good. as they do. Well, as long as they're doing that with, so with the cake, quote-unquote, cake soap, I'm fine with that, because what I'm saying... But it's not about cake soap no, alone for you. No, it's not about cake soap for Vice Cartel. And as I said before, Vice Cartel is an artist, and people will say I lead by example. But what I'm saying, and I tell people in all my interviews, Vice Cartel is a person that always is changing his image, changing his look. So probably next year you can see Vice Cartel with a different completely look. Yeah. Next year you might see me blacker than you and I have some tall locks that touch my foot. You know what I mean? Because Vice Cartel is just that person. 
I'm a person where people can just expect the unexpected from Vibes Cartel. I remember the last time I interviewed you, you were very serious about your role as a father. Yeah, how still do you, am. How do you reconcile those mixed messages to your sons and daughters? Well, with my kids, you know, it, it is easier than a normal child out there that doesn't know Adija Palmer because my child sees Vibes Cartel, the father, in the house mm. and knows that he has to adhere to, to the rules and regulations that a father your son don't still. ask you what's, what's happening to your daddy how are you getting so brown no I know tell you the honest truth no I know uh -huh. because me and my son really don't have a discussion like that you know my son and I we discuss fatherly and son things just as my father and I did like you do your own work mm -hmm. come off of the road yeah. you know brush your teeth you know those regular father mm -hmm. things you don't really go that deep because remember they're not that old too you know okay the oldest son is seven years old oh okay you know what I mean and they go to school and I just treat them as, as fatherly as possible. We drop them off at school, pick them up sometime. But how do you deal with the burdens of, the, of being a star? The pressure is it hard, you know. May I tell you, in the right now, I can't ever put on a weight. Because if it's not one thing, it's the next. That's well, what I'm trying to say. You're a marker, man. Yeah, because that music thing is stressful. Right now, everybody don't pan Vibes Cartel. The art, every, you notice every artist I sing about Vibes Cartel right now. Forget the hype. But you generate a lot of that, do you know? You seem to go, yeah, go by it. Yeah, but what? No, sometimes. they are the ones that is giving Vibes Cartel the, the energy and the power. Because listen, I sing about myself. Shati catch me last night. Me sing about cake soap. Me sing about jumping at the bends. So I sing songs about myself. Right? And Shati then no. Shati catch cheat. <laughs> you don't know the song, The Love, the <laughs> Yeah, so I sing songs about myself. And then now, the other artists are singing songs about me. Yeah. So it's more power to Vibes Cartel. That's why the, the only new artist that is sensationalizing Jamaica is Ayakteen. Because he's the only artist that is singing about himself. Mm -hmm. Like what Vibes Cartel is doing. You know what I mean? So the other artists singing about me, they're only giving me more power. I hear you. All right, take care of yourself and be careful. I will. So, you know, so I implore Jamaicans again. If you don't see nothing happen to me, you don't know where to come from. So, that's all Vibes Cartel have to say. All right. Thanks much. Oh. Interview there between uh, Vibes Cartel and broadcaster extraordinaire Cliff Hughes right here in a side action tonight. Of course, he came to Nationwide earlier on today. You know, you know, climb up the over 40 yard st <laughs> steps in the stairway just to have a one on one with Cliff Hughes. He did that, and of course, you know, the decision was made to air the entire interview right here inside action tonight. So, Isaiah Lang, I know you're listening. We need to hear from you. <laughs> 